Welcome to Nature Walk with Roboclop. Have you ever wondered what that loud buzzing sound is coming up from high up in the trees, poles, often mistaken for power lines or even transformers? Well, that's this guy, the cicada. Or probably many of these guys hiding up in the trees and buzzing about, trying to locate mates. Yes, this guy I found in the backyard, and that was actually a photo of him. And in closer inspection, as you can see on these uh, backyard lawn chairs covered in uh, webs and crap, is a cicada shell casing, I guess I'm going to call it. It's attached to the chair. Now, when you take a closer look at it, you'll see what I'm talking about. Once it reaches adulthood, it comes out from living under the ground and sheds this molted shell by bursting through the top there and finally spreading out its wing in its new form so they can dry out and finally be used. What is never mentioned though is how ancient Egyptians used to worship the cicada, basically how much they resembled their master, an alien. That's right. It is because of this strong reason. Okay, sorry, I just made that up. It, is, it was just PS. I got bored, sorry. Back to the lab, also known as my desk. Now, on closer look, there you can see the two large eyes, and I'm going to show the underside in a second. But what's amazing about these guys is that some species of cicadas live 13 to 17 years underground before coming out as adult and changing uh, their form. There's the underside. It's actually pretty gross. <laughs> and I'm making a mess all over my desk. What's amazing, they, they grow to this size just feeding on the fluids of plant roots on the ground. And it takes some species, well, like I said, 13 to 17 years. Some only, I'm sure these annuals must be a couple years. It's, there's no definitive for each species of how long it takes for it to reach an adulthood. But that, for lack of better terms, stinging sucker, I don't know the proper name for that is what it uses to suck the fluids from the plant roots underground. Now, after living underground for so many years, at least for, for, for some of them, you gotta wonder if they're even aware that they even have wings the whole time they're underground. It's pretty strange. It's not like a caterpillar where it sort of completely changes. This thing had the equipment with it. Now, this is what the size of the hole looks like when it actually burrows out from beneath the ground. And I found another four to five in front here they were making their way to the tree for some reason. It must be some kind of cicada breeding ground paradise in my place. I don't know. <laughs> Just <laughs> quite a few of them. Here on this tree is where a couple of them made it and decided to post up here. Make their change and live their few week life. Hopefully. Well, time to release my shell casing back into the wild. <laughs> 